Popcorn Kid Crew, guess what? We have reached 200, which is a milestone. I'm so excited that we have met so many friends together and you have kept this channel growing. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for all your kind comments. I'm so excited just to see us grow together and we have met so many fun friends. It's a really good way to network and to share what your mission and your goal is. My mission is to spread joy and to spread peace and love to everyone who wants it. And you're helping me to do that. And I just love how the children and the parents are enjoying the stories. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting the popcorn kit. Now today, we are going to dedicate this story to Brother Tony Sue. He is a wonderful man of God. He has a beautiful family and he's always so kind. He has supported the popcorn kit with just wonderful and kind comments. And Mr. Tony Sue, my brother, this is especially for you. And I hope you enjoy it. Now, as we always do on the popcorn kit, we're going to say, I am the greatest. You are the greatest. You ready? Come on, let's go. I will be your witness. I am your witness. Say it. I am the greatest. Come on, you guys, say it. Let me hear you. There you go. Wasn't that easy? I want you to do this every single day. Brother Tony Sue, make sure your family's saying it every day because I'm going to check in. Now, today's story, it's so appropriate because everything has a beginning, just like all of us and the Popcorn Kid crew. We had a beginning also. This story is coming from Five Minute Adventure Bible Stories. And you know how we're gonna start this off? We're gonna start with the Old Testament. That's how we're gonna start the Old Testament. And the very first story here, discuss how the adventure begins. Genesis 1. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm so excited to share this story with you. The big black space stretched through empty darkness. Then God created light that even the blackest night could not contain. All in one day, the very first day, God made the trickling, bubbling, whooshing water. And up, up high, God placed the sky. God created it all in one day. Wow, look at this. God is so good. God is so good. The second day. Out of the whooshing water came the land. Into the ground went roots, then sprouts appeared and bursting buds of plants, trees, and flowers. All in one day. The third day. Then God whirled the sun and moon into space. He scattered the, the stars in the sky. God made them all in just one day, the fourth day. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. In the sea, God made fish and all kinds of creatures. In the sky, soaring birds and fluttering butterflies. 
God made them all in just one day. The fifth day. What fun God had making wild animals of every kind. Tall, short, furry, smooth. Then God made Adam, the very first man. And God made Eve, the very first woman. Wild animals and people, all in one day. The fifth, the sixth day. Then God rested for an entire day. He rested on the seventh day. God's world and everything that lived in it was ready now, ready for the adventure to begin. God created Adam from the dust of the ground. Then God formed Eve from Adam's rib. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We are ready for the adventure to begin. I'm going to continue reading from this wonderful treasury of stories. And I hope you come back. This is going to be listed in the playlist section of my channel. And I will give you the title of the playlist uh, listed in the description. I haven't thought of the title yet because there are going to be so many different pieces that I'm going to place there. But I hope you have enjoyed this. We are on for a really wonderful adventure. Come back and join us. And you guys, thank you so much once again for all of your support and all of your kind comments. And brother Tony Sue, this is just for you. Peace and love. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.